um, says, what is the ruling on a Sunni man marrying a Shia woman? Shia are not all alike. Some of them are Muslims like us, but they have a problem in the hierarchy of the Muslim caliphs. So they say we love Abu Bakr, we love Umar, but we love Ali more than we love Uthman. And this is how they should have ruled. Some of them go a little bit extreme. And they say that Ali is better than all of the other three. Some go way too extreme when they curse Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman and the rest of the companions, all of them, except a handful of companions such as Ammar ibn Yasir, Salman al-Farisi, etc. Some even go further to slander Mother Aisha and accuse her of zina and being among the people of hellfire as Hafsa, the mother of the believer as well, the daughter of Umar ibn Khattab. So you can't paint them with the same brush. But the vast majority of Shia who are now, who are now known to be the Shia are those from Iran, those who are following the Imamiyyah or the, uh, the Ithna Ashariyya or uh, Al Ja'fariyya Aqidah. And these have strong issues. According to our Aqidah as Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, we can't nullify a person's Islam without concrete proof. So as we are not talking about a specific individual, we're talking about a belief. This is easier. So we can easily say that anyone who slanders Mother Aisha and says that she committed fornication or adultery, and by that he would be falsifying the Quran where Allah proved her innocence in the Quran in Surah An-Nur, such a person is a kafir for rejecting the Quran. So all those who curse Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and the rest of the companions, they're actually cursing the, the religion they conveyed to us. And they are falsifying the hadith where the Prophet said that they are all in Jannah. So such people, it's definitely not permissible for a Sunni Muslim or for any Muslim to marry from. These are apostates, blatant kafir, disbelievers. Now we get people coming to us and say, Sheikh, the woman I want to marry doesn't curse the companions and she does not slander Mother Aisha. The only thing that differs with us is that she follows the fiqh of al Jafariya, which is different than ours. And in terms of Aqidah, she loves Ali, Al-Hassan and Hussein. Okay, we all love them. Yeah, but she prefers them more than the, the rest, but she respects the rest and says that they are companions of the Prophet ﷺ. So, in short, that individual is a Muslim. However, marrying a Shia with such a belief would negatively impact your children because she sits with them more than you. And not only that, their uncles, maternal uncles and aunts would be from the Shia. So they will have feelings towards Shia. And the worst thing of all is if she's using taqiyya, which is lying in order to protect their beliefs as it is part of the beliefs of the Shia. And she's saying this to you so that you get married to her and then she shows her other face. This is even the worst of all. So in short, I would say that it is not permissible to marry someone from the Shia sect due to what you have heard 
earlier and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.